Welcome to BSC TV. I'm Mike Meese, President of Business Systems Connection. Today we're going to look at two of Planet Technologies' new long reach PoE uh, injection devices. We have uh, two flavors here. One is for 75 ohm standard coaxial cable, and the other is for uh, UTP uh, Cat 5E or higher rated Ethernet cable. The Part number LPR101C-Kit is the coaxial version. Uh, these come with two devices. One is the injector side and one is for the extender side. And basically you have a RJ45 port 10100 megabit ethernet to inject uh, power into this device. You also have an auxiliary uh, 48 volt to 56 volt DC uh, power that uh, that you can use if you don't have a, a PoE switch or a PoE injector into this. On the other end you have a standard BNC uh, coaxial cable connector. You also have a link light indicator and a uh, power light indicator. This is obviously a single port PoE injector. This will extend your range up to 1,000 meters or 3,280 feet. These are 802.3 AF AT compliant. Uh, so you can inject up to 30 watts of power into this device. It is rated for an extended temperature rating of minus 4 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Then on the other end, this is your receiver or extender uh, connector. So this will go on the side of whatever device that you're powering up. So it has also has a BNC coaxial connector for your coax cable. And on the other end, you have an RJ45-10100 uh, Ethernet connection, which would go to your uh, power device. Now, you have to keep in mind that when you're going over long distances, you will have a, a power and a data rate reduction. So at 1,000 meters, you'll drop from 30 watts of power to approximately 7 watts of power, depending on how much power you're injecting into the uh, injector side of the device. Now this also comes with a user manual and it has a uh, uh, little, little sticky label for the power side so uh, your installers know that there's uh, low voltage power on the cable. Now the second unit here is the LPR101U-Kit. Uh, this, these, are for, these are for Ethernet applications and you have the injector side and you have the extender side. The injector side you have uh, on the input you have an RJ45-10100 megabit uh, ethernet connection and also the auxiliary 48 to 56 volt DC uh, power injector. Uh, you have your link light indicator and your power indicator and then you have another RJ45 port on this end. And then on your receiver side, it's uh, pretty simple. You have, uh, you have an RJ45 input and an RJ45 Ethernet output. The, again, these are uh, rated for extended temperatures of minus 4 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and this will extend up to 500 meters for Ethernet or 1,640 feet. These are also 802.3 AF AT compliant. Uh, same situation over long extended runs, uh, you will get approximately 12 watts of power at 500 meters through this device. So you have to keep that in mind depending on uh, the unit that you're powering up. These are great for applications, uh, particularly on the coax cable where you have existing cable that you're converting to a uh, uh, PoE Ethernet device or for applications where you do not have power at the uh, uh, device end. So for instance if you're installing an IP, PoE IP camera and you don't have power in that location you can get both power and data through these devices. If you have any more questions or want more information on these products, you can call one of our sales technicians at 877-271-9484 
or check our website at shop.businesscon.com. Thank you very much.